So welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. In today's Minecraft video, we're back on Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version. Because in this video, I bring you an add-on slash pack that is going to make your Minecraft experience so much easier. It's even better on iOS and Android, but this is supported on iOS, Android, Windows 10 and Xbox. If there's any way to get it on Switch and PlayStation, those versions as well. I'm doing this in the version 1.17.11. It should work for all the 1.17 versions, probably the 1.16 versions, but I have not tried this in beta. So this is called Goat Supporter or Goaty, however you want to pronounce it. And basically it introduces a whole range of features just to make life easier as a Minecraft player, changing the whole entire main menu for like exit achievements, uh, realms and so much more further down and probably my favorite feature in today's video is having always The clock and the compass on your hood so you don't have to carry it or craft it It is so helpful. It even has changes with chat commands like tab so you can go back to the previous things that you've typed Etc. I'll leave a link down below as to where you can check this out at the bottom of this page is going to be the credits for the creator of this of course and of course the download link the download of this is a media file link. There's no link verse or ad fly. It's really easy to install. You just click on this, like this. So you'll probably notice that this is the pack right here and it's a .zip. Now, if you're having any problems with .zips, just use like an easy file, anything that you can edit files and you just need to rename it. So you want to rename it and you simply want to get rid of the .zip and make sure it says .mc pack. Once you've done that, you're good to go and you can open this in Minecraft just by tapping on it like this. It's going to take you to a Minecraft. I've already got this. So of course it's going to say duplicated pack. As you can see there, I've already got it. The next stage is go to settings, go to your global resource packs, my packs. It's this one right here and just activate it and back out. And this is going to start off by changing everything. So of course, full credit to this goes to Yucca. Here's their Twitter. I'll leave a link down below as to where you can check them out. It's Ian Yucca. Full credit goes to them. Of course, I think this is fantastic and really helpful for Pocket Edition players. So let's go through everything. On the main page, we have Exit. So this is going to close down Minecraft if, if you want to. The next thing here is going to be uh, Feedback. Of course, you can go to the Feedback website. We then have achievements, just really easy access to get your achievements. After that, we've got realms. After that, we've got settings. And then after that, we've got this I, which is information about this pack. Feel free to read it and see what's available, but that's what I'm going to share with you in today's video. Alrighty, so let's get into this. So straight away, you can see on the bottom left, we have ourselves a compass and a clock and it works in real time as well. But there's something really cool about this that I like a lot. So when you tap on your settings, tap on settings again, we have a quick function, which basically gives you everything that's important when it comes to Pocket Edition that you can just access really, really fast. So we've got at the top there, camera perspective, Let's change it to first person. Instantly back, boom, done. Back to first person. Again, we know on iOS and Android, this is an absolute pain to do, but you can change it really, really quick. I'm waiting for the day, one day, one day. We'll be able to have this on the main screen and it will just make life easier for absolutely everybody. So inside of here, of course, you've got the camera perspective. You've got your render distant chunks. You have audio um, down to the main, music and sounds. Probably the most important ones. I typically have music off, but let's say you want to lower it down, you can. Higher it up, of course, you can as well. And then a couple of the settings down here as well, which I'm guessing the creator thinks are important for you to use. But I really love having compass on all the time. And of course, the day and night cycle as well. I think that's really helpful because, of course, if you're playing Minecraft and you're in a cave and you don't know what time of day it is, it can be really, really annoying. And in some cases, People will go ahead and craft themselves a clock and a compass just because they want to know what time of day it is or they use them in item frames and things like that. But let's just do a quick function here. So if we go to the text, we do forward slash time and we set this to, we'll go night time and then activate this. You'll see that the clock changes in real time as well. And we can, of course, go and do that again. So we'll change it to time, day, boom, 
the clock changes instantly. So helpful, definitely one of the best things to do with this as well. But there's even more helpful things for your experience. Tap on the chat. We have a couple of things on the right hand side here. You see these? These right here, you've got tab up, tab, tab down, message up, message down. So one of the really, really cool things here is you can tap up and down, right? One of the most frustrating things with Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version, is on iOS and Android is having the quick selection of specific commands. Now, of course, it's not so much a problem when it comes to time and day, but if you were doing like a specific game rule, so for example, we will do uh, forward slash, we would do game rule, and we'll, t oops, let's go back. It's a little bit sensitive here, game rule, and then we'll do space show. You'll see here that we've typed in show. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit the tab button. So as you can see here, tab will now cycle through the, all the ones that say show. Again, text typing on iOS and Android can be a pain, it can take you forever to do, and I really love this function. So for example, I will do coordinates, and then I'll do another space, and then we can change the tab again, and we can have it to true, because for example, I forgot to turn on coordinates in this one. But let's just say your border, the coordinates, although he's changed the color as well, the X, Y, and Z. Again, really helpful. Pretty sure most people understand it, but it's just a nice touch to have added. We'll go back to this. We'll go to message and I can change it back to, see, see, it's so, so, so sensitive. We'll go back in here. We'll go tab uh, up, message up. There we go. We will change this to false and then we'll go like this and it's done. The coordinates are now off and then we type it again and we type uh, up on this, we can then hit true, coordinates are back. You get the idea, this is the same for anything at all. So we can do forward slash, for example, forward slash, and we'll do summon, right? We'll do the summon command, and we'll do space, and then we'll tap on this. There's so many things when it comes to summon. That's a big, big pain, but the tab up and down, just, just that extra addition that makes things easy for you. We're gonna summon an end crystal right here. Just like that, we have an end crystal right at spawn. So what else is cool in this pack? Well, bottom right below your jumping button, we have F1. And it just lets you see the screen in, in like full picture. So if you want to take a quick screenshot, you could do that rather than having to go in settings and then tap exactly where the F1 key would be. And you could just keep going back and forth like this. And I would like to take a screenshot and be like, bam, there's a beautiful horse. I wanted to share the horse with my friends. Rather than having to go into your settings, your settings, and then of course, Trying to find where you turn hood off. I, again, it's just a pain. It's just all over the place. Nobody has any idea. Now, on the main menu, we've also got a couple of things here. We've got a question mark, which I think teaches you how to play. You've got your achievements. Really easy access. Again, you've then got the question mark. Even the marketplace as well. That's a newly introduced thing to the main menu as well. So, everything's quick and snappy. Just, again, overall improves your gameplay experience. We all know that the Spyglass is pretty new as well, but... Typically, people are using the Spyglass as like an Optifine zoom kind of thing. Well, this has the same thing. There's a beautiful sheep we're going to hold. And as you can see, we can now see the sheep in all its glorious form. So if we were trying to find a specific biome or like maybe you were looking for like a village in the distance. Or maybe you didn't even notice there was an iceberg biome over there and you just found it. But let me go and show you a good example of this. So first example is in creative, right? We hit F1. We can see everything so much better. We can still zoom. So let's say we're trying to find like, I don't know, a bee nest or we're trying to find a specific biome. Or for example, we're trying to find ourselves a ruined portal. It's like, boom, found one. I've actually never seen that before. What? Has anybody ever seen that before? This thing has two, two gold blocks on the top. I think that is. Yo, let's go and check that out. I've never seen that before. I've never seen one spawn with two gold blocks on the top. And that's a rare occurrence. And with the zoom ability, that's, that's what we managed to find. So I'm actually having a couple of problems here. So what I do want to show you is that I'm trying to find a village as an example, but we know here we can now do the forward slash locate command, and then we can do space, and then we can use the tab functionality to go down to find ourselves a village, which is this one, and then we hit OK. And it's going to tell me the exact coordinates where a village is. So we need to, to go there. And would you look at that? we found ourselves a village. So usually the spyglass has this terrible black outline. So it's good to see that this now has a better functionality and I can see a lot of people enjoying this. Rather than installing separate packs, it's actually built into this one.
So according to the website where you can download this, something I didn't know is that mobile players are now able to export their worlds. Which, again, I thought this was possible prior to this, but I believe it's meant to be a lot easier just by hitting this, and then you can save the world to your downloads or wherever you want to save it. You can export it, then, of course, upload to Mediafire or do anything you wanted to do. I'm not entirely sure if this is a new feature, but regardless, that's what it says from the creator. At this point, I would also like to mention that via your global resources, in the settings section, by default, it's going to be normal. There's a couple other things available. First thing is you can have the beta features for this mod. It's still being worked on, but it does add a couple of features, which I will show you. We've also got here Minecraft version 1.16 compatible mode. So if you're on 1.16, this is what you're going to have to activate. I think by default, it's going to be normal. So supporting 1.17. And then this one is enable spyglass overlay. By default, spyglass is off. If you have this on, the spyglass is going to be normal. Check this out also. With the pumpkin, it removes the pumpkin blur, of course. Then we go to settings, settings, and we go to quick and front and back and done. Done. But you'll also, of course, see if we change it again back to settings, quick, and change it to third person from behind. You can see here that we have ourselves a pumpkin on, but you've just seen prior to this that we do not have the pumpkin blur. So, yeah, pumpkin blur is annoying. Really, really annoying. So now you don't have to deal with the Dawn Enderman if you're going to the end dimension or even in the overworld. Not sure what the benefits of this next feature are, but if you have yourself a chest and you tap on it, you can see your little characters right there and you can just move everything, but your character is there. So maybe you were unsure if you had armor on or something like that, you can do that. But your paper doll is next to the chest. Actually, this is gonna be really helpful if you're playing on a server. So no, I changed my mind. This is a really good feature if you're playing something like PvP based Sky Wars, survival games, the awesome uh, lucky block sky block thing on the cubecraft server i believe the anvil inventory is also changed as well like the the thing so you can do it a lot easier so we'll do uh opt fine of course it's the optifine zoom thing and then we tap on this and then we've got ourselves the optifine zoom as well again just minor details that make a big difference same rule also applies to your command blocks. Tap on the command block, tap on the plus, and you've of course got the, the up and the down. So if you wanted to quick action a specific command, you can do that. Two more things available in the crafting grid. We also have the ability to just tap on this book and it's automatically going to craft what you want. And it's the same for the stone cutter as well. Although I've just used all my stone, I can tap on this and get instant stone and anything wooden related as well in the crafting table. So we can do some doors. Craft ourselves some doors, craft some slabs, craft some buttons. Quick action, smooth, better experience. Something else I really enjoy about this pack is if you have a brewing table and you tap on it, everything on the left will teach you how to craft specific potions. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you are Minecraft pros by now and you know how it works. But one of the problems I always used to have when I played Minecraft is I always used to forget the recipes for specific potions. Well, this tells you everything you need. So something else I used to always struggle with was the uh, weakness potion. Of course, it's a fermented spider eye. You then, of course, make weakness. You add redstone and it makes it for longer. And then again, everything down here will teach you how to make specific things. And you can tap on every single thing here, which will tell you what to do and what you need. And even at the top, it will tell you everything about the lingering potion. So gunpowder plus splash plus dragon's breath equals the lingering water bottle. So huge fan of this. Something else to mention is if you do go to video and you want to change your perspective, you can just tap on it as well. Again, rather than just going into the quick section, in case, I mean, you can just do the same here. What I'm saying is like, if, if you're so used to scrolling down and going in here, you can tap on these as well. So we'll go first person from in front and now we're on front. And then if we change this and then we hit F1, you can see that it's just a really, really, really helpful quick selection, a smooth experience. So yeah. All I'm going to say now is I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you're still here, let me know in the comment section. Have a great day. Stay beautiful and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.